uh, even some of the firefighters down in uh, South Sarasota County, Venice area, uh, put some tarps on top of those yeah, roofs just I to. Yeah, I saw that. And it's paying off today because we had more rain. Yeah, more rain, and you know what? It's not over. It's going to continue. No, it really went from uh, not much going on yeah. to very active yeah. over the past yeah. five days now, and that's going to continue for the next five to seven days with afternoon and evening thunderstorms. We had some storm reports today. Winds gusting as high as 50 miles an hour. The folks there are saying that it may have been a twister, but the forensics on the radar are not indicating that. But sometimes, you know, tornadoes can pop up and go under the radar, so to speak, of the radar when it comes to finding uh, where the tornadoes are. So uh, photos obviously always help and eyewitness accounts. Get a look at this eyewitness account uh, from James White of the storms getting ready to roll in across I-75. This is at the Sarasota National uh, Cemetery there, and uh, James White, appreciate that photo. Van Weasel webcam, oh, this is a Casey Key webcam showing uh, some uh, moderate waves out there when the storm started to blow on in and then blow on out as the uh, skies are starting to clear right now. Your evening planner looks like this. A few showers still lingering up until 8 o'clock. There'll be light rain fall around, some light to moderate rain, nothing like we had. And then uh, partly cloudy skies by 11 o'clock. Temperatures into the mid 70s should be a comfortable overnight too. We're not anticipating anything rough as the rest of the evening goes. You can see that light to moderate precipitation occurring all across Sarasota County, uh, stretching northward into Manatee County. So expect some light rain. There's a storm that caused some more damage up in Pinellas County. Uh, it is now off into the Gulf. As I mentioned, uh, still that light rain near Northport up near Mayaka City, stretching off toward the beaches. So expect that to continue for at least the next hour or so. so Pretty impressive rainfall amounts today with the storms moving through over an inch right there. Bullseye between Venice and Osprey, an inch and a half uh, near the extension there to the north near Palmetto and stretching up toward uh, the I-275 and 75 interchange, 2.2 inches, about a half inch on Anna Maria Island. Well, this particular model indicating more heavy rain, but I don't think we're going to see that. Most of the energy has been used up, so look for mostly fair skies after midnight, and then we'll do it all over again tomorrow afternoon and evening. Some of those storms will be strong, uh, and there's a potential to see some severe weather uh, when we get this kind of set up play, uh, play. We haven't had a lot of severe weather uh, this summer due to the uh, inconsistent southeast wind flow that we normally expect. So showers and storms will race again off toward the northwest on Thursday uh, and into the weekend. Uh, the atmosphere is not all that dry either. It's still rather moist across our area. Some dry air well off into the Atlantic, but nothing going on here. And nothing going on in the Atlantic with the exception of a strong tropical wave expected to move off the coast of Africa. That has a chance, a pretty good chance of developing into the next named storm as it makes its way into the Atlantic where some warmer water temperatures are. And again, the, the forecast model, the GFS, does show it uh, by Friday as a tropical storm or possible hurricane. And then it heads off into the open waters of the Atlantic, uh, not having any impact on land. That's what it looks like right now. We'll keep an eye on it for you, but it's unlikely. The one behind it on September 5th has a chance of developing and staying on a more westerly course in time. So uh, a lot going on off the coast of Africa, not much going on here at all as far as the tropics are concerned. 73 right now, still some light rainfall at the airport and winds are out of the north at five miles an hour. Boating forecast, southeast winds turn to the west in the late afternoon. That west coast sea breeze won't penetrate too far inland either with a stronger southeast wind around. And as I mentioned, the extended forecast does call for a good chance for showers and storms each and every day. Our typical summer pattern is going to stay with us for at least the next seven days. The ground saturated, so the heavy rains will cause some localized street flooding. On top of that, we can expect some gusty winds with these afternoon and evening storms. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you.